Hi, my name is Michael Stone, and I'm going to show you how to shape your Christmas tree this year. To begin with, you're going to need a few tools. The first thing you're going to need is a sturdy table. You will need a pair of gloves, and we recommend that you use the natural palmed gloves. You will need a power cord, and you will need something to tie the top of the tree with. The first thing you're going to do is we open up the box and we remove the tree stand and set it up on the table. Then you set the sections of the trees in order. And starting with the largest section, we'll take this and put it onto that table that we talked about earlier. The cord that we mentioned, we will go ahead and tie the top of the tree with it, the top of the branches, so that we can work down through them. You don't have to worry. These are not made of glass. They won't break. Once you secure the top of the tree, take the tree and place it into the stand. So it should look something like this. Then take your gloves and put them on because the material that are made with these everlasting trees will cut your hands. Also, we would recommend that you use long sleeves. Now, the first thing you'll do is you'll see the way these trees are hinged. And the first thing you're going to do is to lower these branches one section at a time. The first section, lower these branches down all the way around. So you have one section of branches down upon which you'll start to shape. Now it's always good to know what the tree should look like prior to starting. Now this happens to be a pine tree so that we know that the branches are going to grow upward in a star shape. So using your hands reaching all the way into the end of the branch, both hands start by lifting the tips and making them into a pattern, into a fan pattern. And then just repeat this process right down. And you want the tips to go up towards the sky. If you do have sections of the branch, open them up now and shape these trees. It's very important that you touch every single tip. There's no way around that. And what the finished shaped branch should look like is a small semi-star pattern like this. And then simply repeat that process with the next branch. Open it up, spread out the branch, reaching all the way in, start shaping from the back to the front. And also one other point is if the branch, let the branch come down only as far as it can. Don't force it because some of the wiring for the pre-lit trees will keep the branch from coming all the way down until the branches from the upper section are released. So don't force this. Shape these out. Again, finishing in this semi-star pattern, touching every single tip. Such. Now, when you're finished doing every single branch on that section, go to the top of the tree and lower the next set of branches, just kind of pulling them out from underneath that cord that we used to tie them up with. And then repeat the procedure that we talked about. Reach all the way in, starting at the back of the branch, open these up, and shape it. Now we have this section, you want to open up these side sections as far as you can. The branches, separate them all the way out, and then just shape the tree forward. Until you get to the end, and making a semi-star pattern. 
Repeat with the side branches. And then with the next branch. And you should repeat that all the way around until you have the whole this section of the tree shaped. Once you're completed with that, what you'll want to do before you put the next section on is to take this tree, put one hand up on the top, and grab a hold of the bottom, which is the, uh, the stand, lifting it up and placing it on the floor. This is a good time to take that extension cord and test the lights to make sure that the lights in this section are all working properly. And then what we'll do is we take the next section, ones that you've lined up, and we repeat that whole process. We go ahead and we put it up on the table. We take that cord and we tie up the top of the branches. so that we can hold them up out of our way while we're working on it. And then go ahead and set the second section into the first. These should slide together easily. This is, the, this is the point now where you take the lights from the second section, the cord, and go ahead and plug it in to the first section plug nest. And just to test to make sure that these lights are working correctly. And then you go ahead and repeat the process that we described earlier. You lower the first layer of branches on that second section all the way down, reaching all the way in, and start shaping from the back of the branch to the front. Finishing with that star pattern. And repeat this until the tree is fully shaped and constructed.